Ladies and gentlemen, Side Strafe back with some more World of Tanks. Except today we're doing some post commentary, taking a look at two replays I had from some games earlier over the weekend during the 4th of July events, of course, trying to get that good old five times bonus XP. Can't miss out on that now, can we? But here we're starting out with the M10 Wolverine. And, uh, of course, just trying to position myself properly, trying to find the right location. Still not 100% used to this uh, game mode on Redshire. So, I'm thinking, let's get close to the flag, so that way, if they do try to cap, we can at least take them out on their approach. I find that more often than not that's uh, the primary goal for the other team is to grab that position and just hide out around the buildings and before you know it you'll have flanked too far and uh, you can't get back in time and they'll just be undercover so we've got some contacts shots fired losing people already I'm starting to get worried and bringing up the M10 not that fast we had some speed going downhill but now making the climb trying to grab some cover here not a whole lot of shrubbery uh, probably not enough to really keep me covered and generally you need to keep yourself uh, back a bit so that the barrel isn't sticking through the uh, vegetation you may see here where I, I mess up a little bit trying to grab a couple of these targets trying to find the right shot on that T-34 as he buzzes through the buildings there uh, hard to predict when you can't really see the whole hull and there's one connection second on fire let's see I make sure with the third round just because I end up with those kill stealers and I wasn't gonna have any of that it was my kill <laughs> t28 let me have it he's on to me this position obviously not great in regards to camouflage I've been lit and my turrets probably just sticking out uh, from those bushes although I didn't really count on it to do that I'm mostly relying on the cover of the building but uh, I believe what I do here is try to knock down this tree a little bit to, to give me some additional cover in the direction that I'm looking for shot still fired six and five in regards to units out a couple of targets pop out we've got a Hetzer on the mountain there shot ricochet off the front slope another one in keep going at it keep doing it until we've Got him stalled, perhaps get a uh, track. There it is. He's immobilized. If I wasn't going to get him, somebody was. Now we're on to the Valentine. Done. Via friendly. But we put enough into him to let him know what's up. This is my flag. Love the rate of fire on the Wolverine. Always have. Don't usually need to use any premium rounds with this. Uh, I find that there are some hard targets once in a while, but uh, generally you can find their weak spots pretty quick and correct yourself since you've got that rate of fire. M3 Lee. Just miss him. Hetzer. Can we grab him? There we go. Right into the side. Looks like this game is going in our direction. Working on base capture as well. Got uh, some action here with the Coventer in the distance. He's a very soft target, but looks like he's going to smarten up and back off. He doesn't want to deal with this gun. 95 on the base capture. And bingo. So that's a look at the M10 Wolverine. Let's check out the British Conqueror. So here we are taking a look at my brand new British Tier 9 Heavy, the Conqueror. And this thing is absolute beast mode. I'll probably have a proper review of it up eventually, but uh, I thought I would throw out another little replay of a game I've had over the weekend. Nothing too crazy, but uh, enjoyable nonetheless. This thing's just sexy, isn't it? Uses the same hull as the Carnarvon, but that turret just looks lovely. It's actually got less armor than the Centurion Mark III turret that's featured on the Carnarvon, 
but uh, it does manage to bounce a couple of shots due to the, the sloping and curvature. Just uh, got to make sure you don't get hit on the sides or any of the flat parts of this tank. But for the most part, it is a heavy support sniper, uh, as you'll see in this map once again. Red Shire just trying to check the minimap split and it seems that we're fairly even not too bad we're covering all of the flanks we've got our medium and light scouts up at the hill traditional positions here and I'm gonna try to get into some foliage once again trying to make sure that my gun is not poking through the bushes that is very much the key. Shot out. Big shot out there. Nearly destroying that T-71 myself. Just short by a few points. Just keeping an eye on some of these targets here. Looking for new ones to pop up. We've got an IS-7 on the left. Can't seem to get his silhouette. I don't have a target. Moving around the mouse reticle there a bit just to see if I can find him. But no dice. We're swinging back over to the main hill. T-69, American auto-loading tank. Shot out. A nice, sweet, clean 500 on that one. He backs off. He doesn't want to deal with this gun anymore. IS-4. Let's try to get a shot out on him. That's a ricochet, perhaps off of the turret. Still checking that minimap, watching the flank, see if I can get any more targets. IS-4 backing off, not wanting to engage. Allied forces engaging the IS-7. He's seen better days. E-50 finishes him off. T-69 coming back out, but we miss him as he pulls back around. Not enough time to get that shot out. IS-4 still just looking to come over that hill, perhaps trying to spot the enemy for their artillery. There's a Pershing showing up. 380. He now backs off. Somebody hits him for 554. And he's done. 130. He's a one-shot by nearly anybody. Constantly looking around, checking that minimap for extra targets. As you can see, still maintaining a good position behind this bush, at least from that front angle. If something comes up on our left, we will be spotted. Taking a shot out on the T-54E1, but it looks like he's got some hill cover there. I do not have sixth sense on this tank yet, so if I do get spotted, I won't be alerted. So I am kind of paranoid at this point in time. Holding back, watching the minimap still, taking a look at some of my allies to see if they want to push up. I will then support them, but in the meantime, I'm fine engaging at range. T-69 still just trying to light targets, it looks like. AMX 1390 doing a good job scouting them out. He's using that mobility to get around that hill. Shot out just in time on the T-69. He's a one-shot kill for nearly anybody. T-57 Heavy showing himself, backing off. Seeing his friend go down, not wanting a piece of that action. 1390, still holding ground, full health. Got that T-54E1 out in the distance there. Bit of a silhouette. Once again, moving my reticle around to see if I can find something. Not a whole heck of a lot there. He's got some cover that I can't see much of due to the foliage in the way. T-28 prototype in the distance. No shot. T-57 heavy cresting over the hill once again. No dice. Pershing. Shot out. Looks like it dinged off of that turret. Hard to tell from this distance, but lucky nonetheless. Not so lucky though when it comes to that IS-8 shot. There's another bounce on that IS-4. We are now lit. Not sure where that came from and if we take a look uh, I can't even really see where the shot entered my tank uh, nothing visible at least unless I'm missing it but went in regardless ISU 152 436 to the side 
friendly answers in kind. Take a look at this reload time on the Conqueror. It's a bag of fantastic. You do not want to be in front of this gun. The damage, the penetration, rate of fire, just absolutely insane. However, when it comes to armor, doesn't have a whole lot of it. You don't want to be in a close quarter brawl with this bad boy. 54E1 shot goes low, I believe. We're backing off a little bit because I'm worried about their artillery units and whoever had spotted me a few minutes ago. That prototype appears to be dug in, entrenched, if you will. We are obviously leading this game. I am starting to feel like it is time to move and acquire new targets. So we're going to try to use the mobility of the Conqueror. It does have more horsepower than the Carnarvon, so it is able to reach top speeds a lot quicker. So it helps. And I do love mobility in vehicles. In most cases, I prefer it to having tons of armor and a slow tank. Definitely suiting my playstyle. There goes the T28 prototype. IS. Rolling up. One thing I do notice with post commentary and watching these replays is sometimes they're a bit sluggish. You can see that uh, things are a bit choppy here at the moment. Not sure what really causes that, but uh, hopefully it won't affect your enjoyment of this video. IS4. Looking to get a shot out there on that side. Ricochet bouncing off of what seemed to be the side of the turret. He's a mere 38 points. Almost not worth the cost of the shell, but I would have taken the shot regardless. As I do have an insane reload time. You can see artillery shell lands right behind me. I'm thinking it's time to leave. I'm way too out in the open. Coming up here, the E100. Halved AMX AC48 holding the line. Rolling by some unlucky tanks. At this point, we're cruising. We're just trying to see if we can get a few more kills under our belt, or damage at least. I don't currently have any kills in this game. Nice ammo rack on that T-57 Heavy. He does not know what hit him, unless he watches my videos, in which case now he does. It was the Conqueror. Probably one of the most satisfying kills you can get in this game. Hitting that ammo rack, seeing that icon, and that explosion. Gotta love it. Once again, just taking an extremely wide flank. There's lots of good cover here. Houses, vegetation, you name it. Good place to be. Right now you can see I'm actually scanning for artillery. Seeing if we can come across them there. I'm deciding to grab a bit more cover coming between these houses. No dice. Artillery is spotted, but I don't think I'll get to them in time. Object 261 saying good night. And the mouse appears to be near our base, so we won't get a piece of him, unfortunately. We do have some defenders there. There's an AT-15, and we are... Kind of out in the open. Shot out for 341. We do know that the AT-15 does have some stubborn frontal armor. However, today, not enough. Good hit to the side there. Completely vulnerable. Not going to get the job done. Don't think I'll be able to reload in time. Or will I shot out? Just dinged him. Isn't that always the case? That last round to take out the target. And it dings. But that's going to be it for this one. Don't think we actually end up finding the GW Tiger. Enemy base captured. Not bad. A lot of damage done there. Not many kills. Let's actually take a look at the stat screen. 
So nothing too crazy, but I did want to show the battle results for this game just because while I only had one kill, the key was the amount of damage that I did. You can see the targets that I uh, threw some rounds at and uh, the one that I actually ammo racked, that T-57 Heavy. I'm sure that he was not happy about that one. There's probably a broken mouse or display in his room at this point in time. But uh, moving right along to the next screen, you can see that we did come out on top in regards to damage, 4,660. There, the one kill, that's going to be 840 XP there. And uh, not a bad game at all. The only survivor for the enemy team would be that GW Tiger. We can take a look at some of the uh, detailed results here. Shots fired, 15. Direct hits, 13. We've got eight penetrations. That's once again 4,660 damage there. And uh, this gun, typically, if you manage to hit, it's gonna pen. It can be compared to the uh, M103 or the uh, T110E5 main gun in those respects, except it's got a much better reload time and uh, the accuracy is, is a bit better, I believe, as well. So it's just a satisfying weapon and it's just, uh, in my opinion, another form of, of tank destroyer because uh, that accuracy makes it lethal at range so ladies and gentlemen i really hope you've enjoyed this post commentary look at world of tanks let me know in the comments below how much you enjoy this type of uh, commentary as opposed to the live format uh, as i have had some feedback on both types i will be looking forward to seeing what you think but with that said thank you so much for joining me and i will see you on the next one